okay so did you notice that uh, the camera is like being pulled back and then again pushed back uh, something like a, uh, a little bit of a magical a mysterious event took place that is called dolly zoom let me show you again let me mute this see so that is that effect is called dolly zoom so i'm going to show you how to create that effect in unreal engine that effect all right mm. and i think this uh, the same effect is called the vertigo effect as well okay uh, so i'm going to create that effect on this uh, third person character this unreal default third person character so let me open that character blueprint here right uh, now this effect is achieved by i just did a google search so a zoom effect is an, a camera effect that uh, achieved by zooming a zoom lens to adjust the angle of view while the camera doll is towards or away from the subject okay so that's exactly what i'm going to try where is the tick the tick okay tick is not there all right so for this we need camera and also camera boom so in the camera we can set fov right view yeah we can set field of view and so here what we should do is when i increase let's try it like this so at the moment field of view is 90 so if I make it less then the okay let's do that part first and see how it looks so I'll get the current field of view and lerp it with the target current one is 90 so I'll make the target 60 and alpha I'll set as 0 0.01 and set like this so right let's see okay now as you just saw we moved closer to the character actually we didn't move since the field of view was reduced the character started to appear bigger and i think uh, we need to where's the begin play we should add some delay first and then start this effect so in the begin play otherwise we wouldn't notice the difference first I'll disable the tick and then add the delay of let's say three seconds and set tick enabled uh, otherwise we wouldn't notice it much okay it takes a little all right now one two okay now the camera moved closer actually uh, it was zoomed in mm. now let's pull back 
the camera while it's zooming so to do that uh, what I have to do is increase in the target arm length same as before I'll get the arm length get arm length and then set arm length I'll lerp this with uh, let's try 600 and as for the alpha value I'll put 0 0.01 and set it like this so let's play and see how it looks Oh, we were too closer to the wall therefore we didn't really notice the effect so let's start playing from here right we got the effect but it was not very impactful That's because the ratio so we need to find the best view angle and the best distance so I'll set this one to 30 and see how it looks whoa yeah, that's better. Okay. Now let's pull it back. For that, I'll promote this to a variable. I'll call it target FOV. The initial value should be 30 yeah and the target arm length initial value is 600 so yeah let's add another delay of let's say seven seconds and then set target FOV back to 90 and target arm length back to 300 and let's add another no we don't need another delay yeah um, no let's add another two second delay three second delay and connect it back like this and let's play the game and see how it looks All right. Oh, here I need to set this to again. Uh, 
otherwise I wouldn't see the difference. and 600 first I need to check something I need to find the perfect values for this so let's place the character here we can do a small test here so now as you can see the character is like this let me take a snip of this one and I'll put it here No, it's not going to I'll keep it in the other screen and then I'll select. So this is the way it should look even after uh, the character's scale should stay the same in order to get uh, the maximum effect. So I'll set this back to 30 and I'll see that increase the camera boom length to 9 yeah it should be increased to 966 now it looks rough stays roughly the same size yeah so 966 is the perfect value let's face the other way 30 and should be 30 and 966 compile let's go here and play okay better so yeah i'll stop this episode at this point and maybe if i uh, find if i see something more interesting in my uh, gameplays i will be sure to share how to implement that feature with you guys and thanks for watching so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and also i'll share this uh, sample project i implemented the vertigo effect through my patreon page uh, the link also the link you can download the download link would be in the description and thank you for watching see you in the next episode goodbye